Hello, this is your girl Earl from Embracing Reborns. And I came on today to give y'all a little bit of opti and chat with y'all a bit. I did this girl the other day, but she will be in the same outfit for um, Thanksgiving. So I'm going to just set her aside while we get her little sister change. But just that she been already laying up there on that poppy. I just never moved her. Okay. We want to get the, the um, green done. But she's still dressed from um, Halloween. So we going to get baby green changed up. With the day being Wednesday, Wednesday, I figured out, oh, come on, we make sure she in frame. Y'all, I do excuse the dogs walking in the background. Hope everyone is having a blessed Wednesday. When I did Reva video um, the other day, I, I did a really nice changing video and went on and on about a lot of things some i can remember some i can't <laughs> but um and i had told y'all you know to go over to Didi's nursery because she was doing a giveaway and i know y'all probably say well how is it she comes over to tell about other people giveaways and she is not doing one well i did did a giveaway um uh, a couple of months ago but to be honest with you, only two people participated in my giveaway. So with that being said, a wine claim, and so I decided since it was only two, I'll give both of them a prize. Well, one ain't never claimed her prize. I told y'all about that before. And right now, it's non and void. So it don't make sense for her to come forward now. I said, I'll just put that in a happy meal for somebody. But when I started my channel back in November, and this month here makes a year since I've been on, and until Marty's Craft brought it to my attention, um, she said that, and, and she and she mentioned this last month on under one of my videos. She said, "You know, you haven't been on a full year yet, and you going from, you know, collecting babies and bringing your babies on to now." Painting your own babies. Well, when I first came on, I used to look at a lot of people channels, and I and a lot of the people channels that I admired, I would um, I sent those people happy meals, as well as the people that um. Who visited my channel when I first started I sent some of them happy meal and now within a year I have a lot of um, loyal people that always comment on my channel some have content on their page and some people don't have no content but ever since that debacle we had with bullies nursery um, giveaway and even though we were fair about it and we ended up giving both person we picked um, prizes. But, um, and I thought she wasn't subscribed. The bully page, we kind of found out she was subscribed. And then when he all said and done, I did get a text stating that she wasn't who bully thought she was. And she did have just subscribed to both our pages. To enter the giveaway but anyway that's neither here or there but i'm going back for me for my channel i'm going back to like i did in the beginning where people channels that i admire and the people that um support my channel i just pick random people to saying happy meal too and for those who may not have content on their page or i don't think they got a reborn but they just like looking at reborn i'll say them a little personal something as a thank you gift between now and valentine's day i'll be sending out 
happy meal so if i contact you and say um email me um i'll be contacting you saying can you send me a mailing address i want to send a little thank you thing out to, to you and that's the reason that's all i'm planning on doing mine so and if they choose to come on youtube and do a opening of the package or if they choose not to that's fine too some people do some people don't and i'm not doing it for that i just want to show appreciation for supporting me and being backing me for the, the past year that i have been on youtube that's how i plan on doing it i might still come on i you never know i still might come on openly and do a regular giveaway but personally i just like being private and just saying out to various people and i don't want the ones who think that just because they don't have content on their page that they wouldn't be included because i plan on including and i know who supports my channel from the beginning to the end from who don't i can't say one to everybody that subscribed to me but i'm just saying out a few some be christmas some will be new year's some will be valentine's it's usually in that bracket that that's usually what i do and for those who may think that um i'm not telling the truth about that if you go back in my like videos you can see because i know i've saved some of the videos to folders on my page showing them opening up some things from me from other channels but i do it because for one i like their channel two some of them supported my channel and some did both you know i like these as well as they like mine but anyway we coming on with baby gray i just took her off her halloween outfit and we could put her on her little thanksgiving onesie for onesie wednesday and it says little turkey and the little turkey little hand is like a 3d and the little legs are 3d too floating up on a little rope and i'm gonna put her on this and now i had these but that hairband kind of matches it too when she got on but i actually had brought these ones out which is a darker orange because to me i thought it matched that i had that one out this one as well as this orangey looking one but i tell you the truth i think the one she might have on i might just stick with that same one so that still matches this so we're gonna put her little girl on this and another thing i, I was t talking about in that video you know like i tell y'all dad can i always said i wanted dad home for thanksgiving and how much i appreciate all y'all prayers and things for praying for dad well the other day i took dad to the doctor and we had a hard time getting him to the second floor with him walking with the walker and stuff to the doctor and once we got up there they did give us a wheelchair but still the wheelchair didn't have the foot rest on it he can't hold the feet up he tell me to pull it backwards i tried but then it dragged the shoes off it was just a mess they already ordered him a wheelchair, but it, it just hasn't got come in yet. Well, I had to take him back to appointment today. Once again, it took almost 30 minutes just to get him out the house to the car. Once we got on the way there, I said, Dad, you've been in the hospital for th um, three months, you know, well, from August to last week. I said that I don't think two weeks of therapy was enough. He opted to go to outpatient therapy here well he is too winded to get out the house let alone walk in and out of therapy two or three times a week that would completely wear me out and him so i told him this was on our way to the doctor today that i think we, he needs to go back we need to talk to his doctor about putting him back in physical therapy as an inpatient because where he go at they get him up three times a day because i said dad would you with respiratory issues and all, all we got to transport all the oxygen tanks and all, portable tanks and so i say it'll be easier for them to keep you in the inpatient thing 
where we don't have to bring you out of a hot house into 50-something degrees weather, you at that rate, you're going to end up with pneumonia. Well, he said, Earl, I said, but you know, this is just my opinion. i only been doing private duty nursing for 28 years, you know. And, um, and he, dad, and I, I tell you the truth, I fall like my dad family a lot with a lot of things. He and I both retain fluid. I don't have congestion heart failure like him. Of course, they always checking me for it. But, um, I do retain fluid really bad. And, um. And, and and I take medications for it every single day for fluid retention and, um, and a lot of other, other stuff. But I told him that we really need to, well, I, I think this one, let's change up the hairband. We really need to um, consider that. And he said, you know, Earl, I think you're right. I do think I want to get um, some more therapy. And um, and we just could put her on some white booties. <sighs> some low Gerber white booties. And, and we'll just sit this little passy right there by her. So when she wake up and she start crying, she can put that in her mouth. And, well, by the time we got to the doctor's office, to make a long story short, we couldn't even get Dad out the car. The wheezing got actually worse on the way. I, Mom went in the, t I said, Mom, tell them that you need a triage team or something to get Dad out of here. And, um, and he need to get a treatment like ASAP. I ended up just popping it off the pack. And she was taking so long. So I said, Dad, you sit tight. Why is Mom and they playing with insurance cards and they getting all this information to the window? I'm like, you know, if he's in distress, y'all come on and get the wheelchair and come get him and get him a treatment going instead of playing with the cards. We can do the paperwork. And once we get all get inside. But, um... Cause like I said, both of them had an appointment this morning to this particular doctor. Let me get Gray up. This is baby Gray and her little turkey onesie for onesie Wednesday. Let me just leave, lay her right here so y'all can watch her. And it says little turkey, which is her little Thanksgiving outfit. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring no. Well, his video going up. No, I ain't gonna bring him in because his video going up to, tomorrow, and I'm gonna go on and release this video today, so y'all will see my other little person in that video. Cause I did pre-recorded videos to drop t today and tomorrow, which y'all saw. Canelo one was dropped. But I wanted to come on and tell y'all what was going on. Well, it took two of them to come outside. Every time we get that outstanding IP and I fall him back in the car. Fall him. So they got the doctor and he was like, no, he's in respiratory distress. Y'all need to take him on across to the... Well, first of all, when we pulled up, it was a um, Caucasian lady on the ground. She about as big as dad. And she had fall on the ground. They had the EMS and the fire truck working on her so the only one wheelchair big wheelchair they had they was using it for her so they had to run around to some other offices and finally get a wheelchair to come get dad but then we never could get dad out the car so we had to end up rushing dad to the er right across the street make a long story short dad is back in the hospital um he has fluid on the lungs and he also have to get blood transfusion again. Um, I don't know what's keep causing his blood to keep getting this extremely low. They running all kind of tests and everything. So I came home to pack him a bag. And uh, mom is still there with him. 
But I figured this is, but she tell me not to rush. They got a room for him, but he's still in the thing. They still haven't put him in the room yet, so I don't need to rush over there right now. And I said, well, Mom, don't you need to get you something to eat? Because I had to leave to go get something to eat. And I actually did a video in the parking lot. But something is going on with my phone where I don't know where my videos is going all of a sudden as soon as I punch in. But anyway, so I came home so I can update y'all and ask y'all once again, can y'all please pray for me and dad and my family? And um, as I will continue to pray for the the rest of the people in the community sick and shut in and due to the fact i finally found gray because gray had this on for thanksgiving last year um because her and kensington dressed last year still have a fine kensington one because i keep all the um newborn clothes together so i always keep up with her, her and reva little thing because her and reva with it sounds i but it sounds reva when where's reva and i and you know, theme Thursday is the autumn colors, which, you know, the oranges and everything go. But Reva the the mini Powell. Greg, can Reva share this little spotlight with you a little bit? You think you want Reva to come on a little bit? Let's see if I can put Reva up there with you a little bit. Oh, Reva, little shoe on fall off. You know what? Let me put Reva little bunny i mean her little mickey on the other hand and then y'all can check out both of the little girls together doing this video this somebody just asked me um well why do you always say you can't put the rebounds and the silicone side by side but i go i don't know because i always have my side by side and I never had no reactions or anything going on with none of mine and this is a pure example but um and I don't know if both of them in frame oh yeah they both in frame but I just had to let y'all know dad is back in the hospital then when I came home from the hospital so my nephew was having problems with his car well the pit bulls were outside in the yard the door's wide open, the garage wide open. Well, I'm scared to come in the house because I didn't know if somebody had broken the house or what because we never leave the door wide open like that with nobody home. And um, and I like, well, I called him and he was, I said, well, you in the garage? He tell me no. I said, well, you the only one got key to the garage. How did the garage get open? But then he must remember he was in the garage looking for the extension card when he got back here. And my mom and sister called me, told me, well, Earl, let the dogs go in first to see if somebody in the house seeing the pit bulls in. I said, you sure right about that? Let me get out the car. I said, I'm going to leave my pocketbook and thing in the car. He said, I got to run back. <laughs> I'll um, let Jules and her baby come in first. Why is we on this porch and I'm sitting on the porch contemplating with this food? These are dumb dogs. Can y'all go in? I said, come on, Juju, get in the house, get in the house. And then I said, Crispy, and Crispy, he... Like he blowing smoke, and then he could sit down and look at me, and Jules looking at me with her low stress on her face. Like, ain't you the oldest? Why don't you go first? And nobody wanted to come in the house. That thing was so funny. So we had to call my nephew to come all the way back from Goose Creek to come walk through this house before we, me and the dogs decided to come back in the house. No, nope, everybody scared to come in the house. That was a mess. But thank God, no, nothing. Nothing was missing and nobody was in the house. But it was scary to come home and find everything like that. Oh, Lord, I tell you. This has been one hell of a day. Excuse my French. I tell you the truth. But like you say, you know, this is the time of Thanksgiving. And I'm still grateful and thankful that Dad was able to come home, even though he's back in the hospital. And I said I wanted him home for Thanksgiving. But... You know, he's still here in town with us, so that's a good thing. And um, and he's still here with us, and that's that's another bless. You know, I'm blessed to have him still here with me. And when I went to the meat market to get him some, um, he sent me to the meat market on yesterday after we had came back, and I had to go to Atlantic Respiratory to change out his oxygen tanks. 
when I went to the meat market, they had a sign on the wall. And where's that sign? I where's my phone? Because I took a, I actually took a picture of the sign. Now, you know that that would be as soon as I want something, I can never find it. But anyways, in honor of giving thanks, and he talk about how you could you know I used to complain about not having shoes until I met a man with no feet. So with that being said, in honor of Thanksgiving, regardless of what type of obstacles you are faced with prior and leading up to, we got so much stuff to be thankful for. You know, God woke us up this morning and started us all on our way. What a mighty God we serve. And that's a blessing in itself. Because I always say anytime you're six feet above ground and not six feet underground, that's a blessing. So we all have a lot to be thankful for regardless of what type of obstacles we may face along the way. We got life and that's a blessing. Even though yesterday patient dad in her wheelchair aggravated my rotator cuff surgery. I have decrovarious tendons released in my arm, so I have two surgeries done on that arm, and I have three herniated discs. When I tell you, I just, <laughs> driving home, all I can, I mean, I, when I tell y'all, in all seriousness, I just been mad <laughs> last night, because I've been in so much pain. Oh, God, it opened up so, I mean, I guess the screen in myself trying to push, and pull on to his weight. And I told y'all, dad is the one who ripped my rotator cuff trying to catch him some years ago because he's so heavy. But my body been just rippled in so much pain last night. It's been mad with the world. But today, I re -look at thinking everything. And I shouldn't have been mad. I should have been blessed that I'm here. He's here. And so none of that even matter right about now, you know. But I was just upset because I don't, you know, I think I can do everything, but I'm getting older. I'm not in the best of health myself. You know, they downsize dad medication, and I'm hoping when I go back to the doctor, I can get some of mine downsized. Because dad went from taking, I think, 12 in the morning to either 7 or 8 now, but I'm still, still taking 16 pills a day. And like I told y'all, you know, I've had 10 surgeries and stuff. And I'm trying to, you know, I don't complain about nothing. Sometimes I do complain. I, I ain't going to lie. Say I don't complain. Sometimes I do, but then I have to remind myself, you know, you, you're still here. So that's a lot to be like, just don't, you know, you shouldn't complain. One lady, uh, my patient, when she had fallen, broke her up. She said, Earl, I see you popping all these pills over there. You look like you got more pills than me. And I, last time I checked, I supposed to be the patient. I said, I do take more than you. But then she said, well, Earl, well, how can you not be depressed? I said, I ain't telling you I'm not depressed. I said, I've been taking anxiety and antidepressant pills ever since Obama came, before Obama came in office. But the fact still remains, you know, you what's the point of sometimes complaining? Because... <laughs> You can complain and get depressed about it, but the situation still exists, you know? So you just have to push forward and move on. So that's why I tell my son, that's why I think I have a nervous laughter all the time because I have to laugh to prevent myself from crying sometimes. But regardless of any of that, I just want to say I hope everybody else is having a blessed week. And don't stop looking at my channels because sometimes it can be depressing just seeing everything that I go through sometimes, but y'all stuck in there with me because I always look forward to next day is going to be a better day. And all days ain't gloomy and bad. I do come on with some good tips from time to time. Um, anything I can do to help anybody, uh, show y'all, you know, you want to know where to get something from that I might use on my baby, feel free to, um, Put it down below or you can uh, inbox me on message me on instagram under at embrace and reborns you know these dogs sure got a lot to say outside while i'm trying to record 
but um and i'll be more than help you you know happy to tell you because i try to help anybody whenever i can however I, however i can at any given time but i hope y'all enjoyed this video now gray does have a magnet but i stopped modifying a lot because i can tell you i have a chest with probably i know for a fact i got over 50 pacifiers but i stopped modifying the pacifiers i just use them by you know match it with the clothes put it by them on a prop or less you know if it let me see do i have one up here with a loop on it or see friends if you got one like like this here got the loop on it you know you can put it on the, the baby hand like they just pull it out their mouth and stuff like that. i use the pacifiers more so for props because i stopped cutting off all the nipples putting magnet on all my pacifiers because i know eventually i want to get more silicone dolls in my collection versus reborn doll now this particular one is a forever baby and when I tell y'all the three-fourth arm and legs are so cuddly and you can just pose them in so many different ways and stuff and they just, you know, can snuggle up and curl up so good versus the full limb rebounds. So that's why I love this baby here. So out of all my rebounds, I tell y'all the truth, I hold this one more than I hold any rebound. Her and Angelina and both of them are three-fourths limb. I hold them the most. Angelina, I still haven't painted her since I scrub her. Hold on. Let me make sure my Yorkie get out that backyard. Hey. Because sometimes Candy like to get out and climb out when she gets stressed. Hold on one second. She okay, girl. I wanted to make sure she didn't get out. Cause you feel she get out of her little playpen in the backyard. The first thing she do is come looking for me in the front yard. And them pit bulls out there, they have never like attacked my Yorkie, but they damn sure would have had her ball up like a football out there, going back and forth. Cause that's how they did her when she was pregnant, and I really thought she was going to have a miscarriage. But, um, because, see, the, my dolls, they, they curl up and get, they go drop down and get in the submissive pose when them big dolls come over there. But then they thinking it's some toy for them to play with. And Jules will have her dirty up and Dusty rolling her around in the dirt like some football. So I had to go out there and make sure that wasn't what was going on. So I do apologize about that. Reba little socks. Reba gonna cross your little legs. Young lady, check Reba with your little legs cross at the ankles. Y'all play with it. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel. Ooh, hold on. Wait a minute. Hey, come on, Remy. Remy. No wonder they going. I hear the big boom on the door. The people next door got the German Shepherd up by the fence, staring at the dogs. And one of them must be running knock on the door to let me know <laughs> another dog by the fence. But um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to um hit that red subscribe button down below and hit that bell so you can be notified every time we put out a video. I will be pre-recording some videos so I can still put out for this week and possibly next week. Because if I figure if I drop mom off to the hospital, if I can run back here quick and do a couple of pre-recording, I can do a couple of videos. Because some of these other dolls need to get changed. Poor Pete and still in um, Halloween, so I definitely want to put her and Jonathan and me um, matching up from Miss Bully. Because I want to get them in a couple of those outfits before Christmas. Because come December, for the whole month of December, I, I don't care what's in or what's going on. I dress my kids in Christmas clothes the entire month of December. 
The only time I might deter is if it's um pajama Saturday, because I don't um have I don't think I got any. But I do have some Christmas sleepers that I put them on for outfits, but I can probably do that for PJ Saturdays. But uh, but I might deter from on that day, but. I'm not going to be doing them other things because I know for a fact I will be doing Christmas for them because I got a whole garbage bag full of Christmas clothes that I like to enter, um, change my dolls with throughout the entire month of December. So y'all do um, look for, stay tuned for seeing that as well. But um, y'all pertain to pray for me, mom and dad and them. And I hope everybody have a very safe, most important, blessed, um, happy Thanksgiving. And I did give a shout out to um, Dee Dee's Forever Reborn Nursery for her Thanksgiving giveaway. But I think Bella Blessing, and my Bella Blessing is also doing a candle giveaway. Um, go check out her channel. She makes some of the most prettiest candles. And um, I definitely would like to get um, a couple of candles from her in the near future. But um, y'all go check out that um, particular video with her, with the, her candles and see the type of candles and stuff that she made. I think a lot of y'all would definitely be interested in either entering the giveaway or actually ordering some candles from her because she does make and sell the candles as well. But anyway, Y'all have a happy Thanksgiving from my family. Yours have a blessed one. And thanks for watching.